Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Blog Project Tutorial for Beginner. So in the previous tutorial, we added post data in the post table. So in this tutorial, we are going to show all the data that we uploaded in the post table uh, over here in the admin panel. So first of all, let's go and have a button over here that show post on the sidebar. So let's go back to our code and we'll just actually go to resource views and inside views we have admin and inside admin we have sidebar.play.php so over here after add post here we are going to say show post a will be smaller and right now if we just refresh our browser over here here you can see we have a show post option over here so right now what we want is that if we click on the show post then it will take us to another page and there will be some table over there and we'll be able to see the all the posts from the database table so for it uh, let's go back and here you can see href charts.html uh, for the show post so instead of that inside this href we are going to mention a url so we will show here url and let's say here show underscore post let's save this and we need to create this url in the web.php so let's go to our routes then web.php then let's just go down and from here i'll just copy this ctrl c and ctrl v so here the route will be get and here you can see post underscore page right so instead of this we are going to mention this let me just copy this and paste it over here so we'll use the admin controller and here we need to mention the function name so let's say the function name will be show post as well so let's just save this so right now we'll go to admin controller and create this function so let's go to app http controller and admin controller so let's go down and here we are going to say public function show underscore post to first bracket and to second bracket so from here we'll just return a view we'll say over here return view to first bracket to single quotation and inside this uh, we are going to create a view in the admin folder over here so we are going to mention the admin folder name and let's say the view name will be show post show underscore post you can basically name it anything but let's just make everything similar so let's save this and we'll go to this admin folder which is inside the view so we'll click on this admin folder right click and then click new file and here we are going to say show underscore post dot blade.php let's save this and click save so over here let's just say random things uh, let's just say here html and in the body let's say show post page let's save this so right now what will happen is that whenever we click on this show post button then it will call the route this route uh, show post and our route will call this function show underscore post and this function will return us this view admin dot show post which is basically this one okay so right now if we just go to our browser refresh and if you click on this show post here you can see show post page so obviously we want the same design on the show post as well so so for it we'll go back to our code and here you can see admin home dot blade dot php so i'm just going to copy everything from here Ctrl A, Ctrl C and we'll go to show underscore post dot play dot php. So we'll remove everything and we'll paste whatever we just copied from here. So here you can see we have the admin dot body include admin dot body we'll remove this part and currently if we save this then if we now refresh here then click show post here you can see we have the header and sidebar and the body part is empty over here so right now let's go back to our code and this time we'll go to body.bed.php and from here we'll just copy this single t from here so ctrl c and we'll paste it after this admin.sidebar in the showpost.blade.php so let's just paste it over here ctrl v and we also need to close this div so whatever code we want to write we'll write in this div so right now if we just save this then refresh our browser here you can see we have a black background right now so right now let's go and create a table so that we can show the post data but before that let's just add a title over here let's say the title will be all post and let's mention a class 
let's say class will be title underscore design DG. so let me just copy the class name control c so right now we'll write some css for this title so if we now save this basically we'll all be able to see the all post over here so we want that in the center a little bit bigger and also add some padding so here we'll go to the head tag and inside the head tag we'll mention the style tag so inside the style since we want to write some css for a class so we need to give a dot then title underscore design so here we are going to say font size it will be 30 px font width it will be bold then let's also say over here the text color it will be white and then let's also just add a padding let's say padding will be 30 px so let's set this okay one more thing that we need to add that is text align it will be centered let's save it then let's just refresh over here and here you can see all post so right now we are going to create a table over here so that we can show all the data from the post table to over here okay so right now let's go back and uh, let's go down and here inside this div content after the all post here we are going to mention a table tag so inside the table we have normally table header and table data so first of all we'll mention a tr tag which means table row and inside this tr we'll have some table header let's just say over here th and let me just go back to my database table and over here let me just zoom in here you can see we have one two three four five six seven seven type of data over here okay we will not show the user id so total six header okay so right now what we will do is that we'll just copy this th tag and i'm going to paste it five times one two three four and five so the first one will be let's say post title then here it will be description let's just say over here description then this one will be post by it means who upload that certain post is it admin or user we we'll just show the admin or user name over here and then here it will be post status and then we are going to say over here user type who upload the post is it a user or admin and the last one will be post image so let's just say over here image so right now if we save this then if we now refresh here here you can see we can see the post all the data over here obviously we'll add some css but let's just let's just go back and uh, here let's just add a border for the table so here say over here class and let's say here table underscore design let's set this and let's go to the top and inside the style we are going to say dot table underscore design then to second bracket so first of all we'll add the border for the table so over here we are going to say border it will be on px solid the border color will be white so right now if we save this and then if we refresh here there you can see there is a border over here so let's go back and here let's mention the table width table width will be let's say 70 percent or 80 percent and table will be in the center so let's just say here text align center let's save this then let's refresh here and there you can see okay let's just add a gap over here on the left side so here we are going to say margin left it will be let's say 30 px save this then refresh here and there you can see there is some gap we can increase the gap if we want so we can make it like 70 px save then refresh okay i think this is fine so right now let's just add some demo data for those table headers so let's go back and here let's go down so after this table header tr closing we are going to mention another tr and inside this tr we'll just have some random table data so inside this table data let's just say our here random things a b c d and let me just copy this and i'm going to paste it five times on two three four and five let's save this and let's just refresh here there you can see this is the table data so right now let's just add a different color for the table header background 
so uh, here for this table header tr we are going to show our hair class let's say th underscore design dg let's go at the top again and here we are going to say dot th underscore dg then to second bracket and here we are going to say let's add a background color it will be sky blue save then refresh here and there you can see so like this uh, table data we can add multiple table data over here if you want like this then refresh here you can see there is multiple table data but right now let's just remove other tier tag let's just keep only on tier and let's just remove the gap over here let's keep everything in a single line so that you can read properly okay so right now what we want is that we want to show all the data over here from the database table which is table name is post so for it what we are going to do is that we will go back to our controller so basically from here we are actually returning the view which is admin dot show post so here what we will do is that we will get all the data from the post table so for it we need to declare a variable so let's say our here dollar data or let's say dollar post you can declare any variable equal to we are going to say the model name and model name is post double clone all so let me just explain here you can see this post is basically the model name for the post table and if we just write over here post double clone all then what it will do is that it will get all the data from this post table and store it in this dollar post variable and one more thing that is when you are using the model name post you need to make sure that you have added the post model at the top okay so let's go down and here what we are going to do is that we'll just give a comma over here then we'll show over here compact and then we are going to show over here to single quotation post so what it will do is that it, it will store all the post data in this post variable and we are basically mentioning this post variable over here and you do not need to give any dollar before this so it will send all, all the data from the post table to this view so right now in order to catch all the data in this view we need to go back to our show underscore post dot blade dot php and here uh, we want to show the data in this tr tag so here first of all we need to write our here at the rate of for each first bracket then we are going to say dollar post as dollar post so basically this first dollar post is coming from here okay so after this we also need to in this for each loop so here we will see our here at the rate of int for each so right now what we are going to do is that we will show all the data over here title description post by step by step on by on so here in order to show them we need to give to second bracket over here and inside this second bracket we need to mention this uh, this dollar post okay we'll just paste it over here and then we'll give this arrow sign and here you can see we want to show the post title so for it let's go back to our database table and here you can see we write title over here like this t-i-t-l-e so right now if we just say over here title then save this then if we just refresh here here you can see we are able to get the title here you can see test test two three and some random things we basically got the same thing and here is just abcd just replied multiple times because we do not write any code for for description post by and other things so let's go back to our code again and here after post title we have description so let me just copy this and let me just select all of them from here let's just paste over here so the second one is description so we are going to show over here dress description and after description here we want to show the name of who posted data so here we are going to say post name so basically let me just show you in the database table we have we also stored the username over here here you can see admin that is the username so that's what we just mentioned over here and after name we have status user type and image so here we are going to say status and i just mistakenly made a spelling mistake for status here you can see post underscore status like this s-t-a-u-s so basically we need to write the code similar to our database table so here we are going to say uh, 
post underscore h t a u s and after status we have user type so here we will say user type so right now in order to show the image we need to use image tag but we will show the image later so let's just uh, save this right now then let's just refresh over here and here you can see we can see the description and the post by over here and here you can see post status user type and image is empty and here you can see post by because some of the post by is null over here now you can see post status is null some of the name is null so that's why so what we can do is that we can just delete some of the null data from here so that our table looks better mm, okay i just delete all the null data so let's just refresh here and this is fine so right now we need to show the image so in order to show the image we need to use image tag so inside this td we are going to say over here image tag and inside the image source we need to keep the image location so for it we will give to second bracket and here we stored the image in the public uh, post image folder so here before this uh, second bracket we are going to show here post image slash and inside this we are going to set dollar post this arrow sign image so right now if we save this we will be able to show the image First of all, you need to mention the folder name where you store the image, and then you just basically need to do the same thing that we just over, we just did over there. You just need to uh, mention the image name. So right now, if we save this, then refresh here. Here you can see we have the image over here. So right now, let's just modify the image a little bit. The image is too big. So what we can do is that uh, inside this image let's just mention a class let's say img underscore design dg let's save this then let's get top and here we are going to say img underscore deg since this is a class we need to give a dot over here so after this we will give to second bracket and here let's say height it will be 100 px let's just save this then let's refresh here and we have the image over here and let's also just mention the width as well let's say width it will be 150 px and we can also make like a padding padding as well let's say padding will be 10 px save this refresh again and there you can see there is now some gap and the image size is equal so this is how we can show data from the table in laravel if you face any problem or if you have any question you can let me know in the comment section and if you manage to solve your problem then let other people know that what kind of problem you face and how you solve that issue uh, that way some other people will be able to get some benefit from your comments so thanks in for watching and if you want more tutorial like this then make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the future tutorial